Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Small carnivorous dinosaurs. Lou Ben, the Cynornithosaurus, a dinosaur that could flap wings. Scientific name: Cynornithosaurus. Period. Early Cretaceous. Fossil found in Liaoning Province, China, Asia. Description: Cynornithosaurus was a small, agile predator with a large head, as well as sharp teeth and claws. Its hind legs had sickle-shaped second digits. The typical feature of all Dromaeosaurus. After Cynosauropteryx, the first feathered dinosaur was covered in Western Liaoning Province, China. More scientists have tried their luck in the region, hoping to find more feathered dinosaurs. In 1998, a team from the Institute of Vertebrae Paleontology and Paleoanthropology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Came to Sihe Tuan Bei Piao City, Liaoning Province, to excavate fossils. They looked for fossils from dawn to dusk every day. The days went by. They continued digging, but found nothing. They were about to give up the whole thing when they finally got some luck. Several researchers found a black gray piece of shale as they cleaned out excavated rocks. There were bones impressions on the rock with a hat. And a row of sharp, curved teeth. To the side of the more murky impressions, one could find remarkable black impressions, which meant feathers. After careful research, scientists identified it as a new dinosaur in the Dromaeosauridae family, and they named it Cynornithosaurus. Lou Ben, a natural male Cynornithosaurus, was one meter long and 0.4 meters tall. It had a 14 centimeter long head, and its mouth was full of dagger-shaped teeth. Lou Ben's whole body was covered with feathers, which took many forms. Its fossils showed primitive filamentous feathers on its head, body, limbs, and tail. Some were like bird's down feathers, while others had shafts, and this feature was similar to modern bird's feather distribution. The discovery of feathered dinosaurs was not exciting news after Cynosauropteryx, but the Cynornithosaurus fascinated scientists because, apart from feathers, it had bird-like shoulder girdles, which allowed the forelimbs to stretch upward and forward, so it could flap its wings like a bird. Flapping may seem a trivial movement, but it is an essential first step for animals that want to fly. Cynornithosaurus was not a flyer, but it was more prepared than earlier dinosaurs, and it was an important step in dinosaurs' transition to birds. The most iconic feature of the Dromaeosauridae family is the scythe-like sharp second digit on its hind legs, an essential hunting weapon. Lou Ben the Cynornithosaurus also had this feature, though its second digit was slightly smaller than others. On the other hand. The smaller digit made climbing trees easier. Lou Ben was an excellent tree climber. The claws on his forearms could bend more than 180 degrees and firmly grasp the trunk. Working with a specialized hind leg, it could live in trees if it desired. It may seem like a small change, but it made Lou Ben a better predator and its survival easier. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer Miss Yang Yang and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantasy journey.